Hello folks and welcome to the Kendall SCD Express. In this video I'm going to talk about some clinical aspects of the unit and also cover a functional test. So the SCD Express is used mainly to prevent DVT in patients who generally are immobile for an extended period of time. This is the sleeve called a leg sleeve and this is showing how it's placed on the patient. This is the interconnecting tube and this is called a foot cuff and how it's applied to a patient. Now just showing you what a leg sleeve looks like in a bit more detail. There's three distinct sections, the ankle, the knee and the thigh. So the smaller part is, is wrapped around the ankle. Just pointing out the three individual cuffs and three hoses, one going to each. This is the interconnecting tube. So this is not a disposable part. The cuffs are. Showing how it plugs into the unit. Now we'll just go over a functional test and make reference to the operation and service manual. So in this first example I've got a sleeve connected only to port A. So the unit will auto detect whether there's a sleeve connected and will disable the channel that doesn't have a sleeve. So in this case B doesn't have a sleeve. Now just showing the inflation cycling. So it starts off at the ankle, then the knee, then the thigh, and repeats in a waveform like cycle. So the idea here is to push the blood in the leg. And about 40 seconds later this cycle repeats. Now I've got sleeves connected to both ports A and B just to try and illustrate the cycling of the two cuffs. As you can see the right hand cuff is inflating, now the left hand cuff back to the right hand cuff again. And this cycle repeats. So it's fairly straightforward to test the unit and to make sure it's working properly. Just showing the boot and leg modes, how that works. 
So in this case, we've got sleeves connected to both ports A and B. So it will auto detect what sort of sleeves connected. In this case I've now set the unit to be in boot mode, but I've got leg sleeves applied. So the unit will flash with a red LED to indicate there's a problem and requires the user to confirm the correct mode before it will go on. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time.